Hey guys, Joe Hansen here, ready to talk to you guys about what's changing in the social studies department for you guys starting next school year, 2021 to 2022. Um, gonna start off as you guys, um, what you can take your sophomore year. Um, your freshman year, you ha all had to take uh, world geography as a required course for graduation. Um, in the social studies department, your sophomore year, there are no required courses. Um, we do have several courses you can take, and one we highly recommend you take in preparation for um, U.S. history, um, but there are no required courses um, your sophomore year. The first course um, that is available to you that we highly recommend you uh, take is World History. This is a great course to prepare you for U.S. history your junior year, um, going over primary sources, historical reading and writing uh, is, uh, again, a great preparation for U.S. history. Um, several of the topics are mentioned here, such as the earliest humans, ancient Greece and Rome, going into the Middle Ages, the Renaissance, and uh, ending with uh, different revolutions, such as the U.S. Revolution and the French Revolution. Another course that you can take your sophomore year um, is Current Events. This is a semester class. Um, and uh, pictured here are several of the uh, hot topic issues over the last couple of years that maybe you've uh, already covered if you've taken uh, current events before. Um, but talking about real world issues that are happening now. Um, so there are oral reports and written reports um, that you may go over and are due um, in class as well. A new course that's going to be available to you guys starting for the first time next year is Illinois History and Geography, uh, which will be paired with Comparative World Religions. Uh, Mr. Campbell's very excited to be able to offer this class for the first time here at uh, WLHS. Um, and first semester um, is going to center around, rather than U.S. history or world history, it's going to center on Illinois history and geography. So topics that we've covered in other classes within the social studies department, um, but localized specifically to Illinois um, and our uh, region here in central Illinois. Second semester would be a class called Comparative World Religions. This class is going to focus on the major religions of the world um, along with their teachings, but also the cultures and the people that participate in them. The last class you could take as a sophomore as an elective would be modern U.S. history. Um, when you take U.S. history your junior year, um, there's only so much uh, content that you'll cover and you'll probably end around World War II. Um, modern U.S. history gives you the ability to see and experience the last 70 or so years um, in U.S. history uh, from the civil rights movement to the present. Um, there is um, an emphasis on pop culture, things that have, have uh, play, stood the test of time, um, as well as you will be doing individual research projects. Moving on to your junior year, Everything, all the electives that were available are still available to you your junior year. However, your junior year signifies another required course, and that is U.S. history, which is a year-long course. But for the first time, you can also take economics and legal systems, which is usually paired together, AP human geography, which we'll go into in just a little bit, as well as psych and sociology. Um, the required course here, again, your junior year is U.S. History with Mr. Klein. Um, similar to topics you talked about in eighth grade U.S. History, you will now be going further in depth um, in preparation um, for, um, for your next uh, academic career. Um, you'll cover topics from the birth of the United States all the way through World War II, um, reading historical documents, doing historical writings. AP Human Geography was, is a new course that was added this school year um, for the first time here at Warrensburg Latham High School. This is a college level course taught in high school. Um, the nice perk about this course is you could receive college credit 
um, depending on uh, you passing the AP exam um, that's given each May. Um, some of the topics that we discuss in AP Human Geography, population migration, culture, political science, uh, and systems, agriculture, economic development, and urban land use um, are the topics that we will cover. Um, you can expect um, daily and weekly assignments um, within this course. Um, again, it is taught at the, uh, at the college level. Here is a picture if you want to search the textbook right here, AMSCO AP Human Geography. Um, and then you can see some of the topics here as well. Another course that's offered for the first time to juniors is economics and legal systems. Um, economics, the idea of supply and demand, different economic systems such as capitalism, uh, communism, availability and use of resources would be your first semester. Your second semester would be legal systems. Um, I was told, I think kind of think of it as law and order uh, in the classroom. So problem solving with real world examples uh, and discussions of the court systems. We are pushing back psych and sociology um, to be junior and senior level, a senior level course. Um, normally this was uh, available to sophomores. We've decided to push it back um, to juniors and seniors. Um, in psychology first semester, you would go over individual um, brain functions, personalities, memory, things and how they affect individual people Second semester sociology would be more on how do these um, interactions affect groups of people? Um, what are things, expectations for large groups of people or multiple people versus just a singular person like it was in psychology? And then finally, your senior year, everything that was available before to you is available to you again. Uh, however, there are two semester long required courses, government and consumer ed. Um, in government, um, you'll talk specifically about the United States Constitution and government system. Um, and a requirement is, is that you need to pass both the U.S. and the Illinois State Constitution test in order to graduate. Consumer ed, which is usually taught second semester, another required course, um, is kind of life on your own, getting ready for costs and benefits uh, moving into the real world. Hopefully this uh, short video helped you uh, helped explain uh, the changes that were made in the social studies department. Uh, and please feel free to reach out to uh, Mr. Johansson, Mr. Klein, or Mr. Campbell about any of these changes.